Jalen, how did you think it went for you tonight? Um, I think it was fun to be out there. Um, first time as a team. Been out there in a, I guess, a public setting. Um, a very game-like setting. Competing. Um, and definitely going out there without any coaches on the field. Um, think about all the new guys we have. and From young to old, I'm, I'm a new guy. I'm old and I'm you know, learning my way around. But um, I think overall, I think it was a, a good a good productive day for the team. For you, you've been through so much, accomplished so much. Was this a big deal for you at all? I mean, personally, just after everything you've been through? Um, any opportunity I get to step on the field, I say it's a big deal. You know, I love the game. Um, I mean, I've been playing the rep my whole life, you know. So any opportunity I get, get, get the chance to step on the green, um, I try and take advantage of it. And, you know, they always say the moment you stop, you know, getting those butterflies or those feelings before the game or about a game, you just stop playing. So that time ain't coming no time soon. It was the first time you had a chance to wear Oklahoma's colors. Was that unique for you in any way, or did you think about that at all? They had me in a blue jersey, so I didn't, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know how to feel about that one. But like I said, the environment of it all was, was fun. Um, great fans, great enthusiasm around there. And I think everybody, you know, I, th I think we continue to take steps this spring. They called you down you know. on that run. Were you going to go down, or was that on that first series? I guess we had to wait till the fall to find out. <laughs> hey, Jalen, do you have a favorite throw that you had tonight? Um, I think there are a lot of, you know, a lot of things that – there's no complacency. Look, I'll just say that. There's, I mean, gotta gotta continue to, you know, like I said, make those steps, move forward, fix the things that we need to fix, and um, you know, to be be the best that we can be. Um, the expectation I have, you know, for myself, and the expectation I've, you know, I've placed on my peers, my teammates, and my guys. I mean, you know, we're, we're trying to we're trying to do special things. So um, we know it takes a lot of hard work and. Um, we're going to continue to take those steps to, to get the things done we want to. Javon Lincoln said, um, he said, it's been a constant improvement, <coughs> talking about you, it's been a constant improvement in your time here. But uh, he said, you're, we're, he phrased it, a long way from where we began, talking about your time here at OU. Um, Can you rephrase that? Yeah, I'll just kind of, it's been a constant improvement, but it's a long way from where we began. He's talking about you. you've improved a lot. Yeah, you've improved you a lot here. since you've been here. Oh, Can really you kind of funny. describe your, your perspective on that? Like I said, um, I have a, I have a standard um, expectations for myself. Um, I, Coach Riley's done a great job of, you know, kind of showing me the way, the other guys the way, everybody the way of you know how it's supposed to be. And um, you know, another unique part about this is you get a lot of guys that are able to watch Baker, you know, Kyler, see them play, you know, sitting out a year or whatever. Well, I'm just coming in and you know. Don't necessarily have a guy in front of me to watch, so I'm watching a lot of film, um, and I'm learning from all the other guys in the room. Every time, every opportunity I get to do so. So I think, um, I think this is all. You know, the individual efforts, um, the individual stuff comes when you're all about the team, and you know what I'm saying putting the team first, trying to make each other better. Where do you feel other. like you've come the furthest as a with the, grasping the offense or understanding Lincoln's terminology or? Any of those aspects? I think, I think the biggest thing is it's just a process. You know, it's process oriented. I'm a process oriented person. And I know that, um, you know, it's kind of like getting the a, a, coming from A to Z or climbing a mountain. Um, it takes time. Um, but uh, it, day by day, day by day, and not by night, we'll, we'll be where we want to be. Jalen, when we talk to defensive guys, we struggle not to ask them about last season versus now. You are here, so you're a perfect guy to ask. Just what do you see now from this defense that you face every day? Um, well, it's a lot. It's, I, I mean, I got to do a perspective, probably the most unique perspective, preparing for them. But, um, you know, I say the energy um, is, you know, very high. You know, I, I tell you honestly, those first few practices, you know, they were getting our, you know, highness, you know. So um, I, they're, doing, they're, they're on the same road we're all along, trying to take it day by day, night by night, you know, trusting in that process of learning, you know, buying into what the coaches are saying, and you know, ultimately building an identity for what we want to be. Jared, despite this being your, your playing debut here, you look 
in, in command, you look comfortable, you look poised out there. Did you feel that way while you were playing? Um, I think comfort will continue to come with time. You know, it, on the outside looking in, I probably, you know, do look that way, but there's always more. There's always more that I can do. There's always more that, you know, we can push each other to do. Um, and there's always um, more we can accomplish. So I think that's the biggest thing for us is trying to make those necessary steps to be the team that we want to be when it's, when it's game time. And Jim, it's all said and done. Pardon me. Was that a predetermined, was that a back shoulder throw for one thing that on that first series? And if it was, was that something predetermined or was that something just on the move that you, that you threw? To well, it was on that first series, bridges. got you down to the one right yard line. Um, not as a, as a back shoulder ball. Is that something you improvised or is that something that was called? No, I just saw what I needed to see. I made the back, back shoulder throw. Okay. What, what did you think of your receivers tonight? They seem like they won a lot of battles for you. Uh, we got a lot of good guys. I mean, got a lot of guys that can make plays. Um, biggest thing is, you know, letting them play. Um, really, the offense is it's, it's, it's all it's all it's all nice. So it's it's about getting the, getting the ball in playmakers' hands. Jalen, you mentioned that you have. You didn't have a guy to study like some of the other guys in the quarterback room were sat behind Kyler or sat behind Baker. And you said something about, so you just watch film. Do you mean you're watching film of what Kyler did or what Baker did to learn the offense? Or what did you mean by that? Well, it's definitely, I wouldn't be saying, but maybe through two weeks ago, yeah. if I didn't call those guys and, you know, ask those guys questions, watch those guys' films, games from the past, right. I'd be, you know, kind of digging a hole for myself. Um, so, I'm I'm trying to learn as much as I can to help this team be as successful as we you know as we desire to be, um, and like I said, I'm watching as much as I can, watching the past, kind of building comfort by watching those guys. I say, and just taking it day by day. I'm trying to do do something to better myself, be better every day. Jalen, you've been in quarterback battles before. Do you feel like you're on the path to earning this job right now? Um, that's, that's not my decision. All I can do is um, control what I can control, be where my feet are, and um, compete. Those three freshman wide receivers obviously had a really good game plus tight end uh, Stogger. What do you see in them, I guess, throughout all of practice? And can you kind of compare them to some of the freshmen that you've been around previously? Uh, like I said, I don't want to get into comparisons. But, um, uh, we got a lot of talent, you know, um, and I think every part of the field, um, every position, there's more. So we're not going to, you know, baby each other. We're not going to do those things. Um, we're going to push each other to get the best out of each other so we can be the best that we can be. And those guys, whether it was good or not, I guess, we're going to we want more, you know. Okay, you Two more, more questions. Practice. You have one more practice, and then you're going to have an important off season. How much do you need to use that summer to improve yourself and as an offense uh, together? Um, I'll be working. Um, I think we'll all be working. Um, definitely trying to continue to build that chemistry between each other. Um, you know, we have those early, early morning workouts. Um, but we'll, we'll be getting a lot of work in with each other this summer, and we're going to try and maximize that opportunity and uh, get ready Jaylen, uh, for the season. I'm sorry. Uh, after one of your scores, you and I think the whole red team post for a photo, and was that <laughs> impromptu? Like, I mean, was that improv, or did you guys plan that you were going to do that for a touchdown? And no, my center Clayton. Um, I mean, it's it's different, I guess. <laughs> my, my, um, my center, he asked me that same question. I said, he said, when when did you think of that? I said, well, I just thought about it. So let's go take a picture after we score, and we went and took one. And I told Italy, I told him that, um, say, yeah, I ain't doing that over there at the other place, so at, at Alabama. <laughs> you, it was something you didn't. Okay. So, first of all, it was your idea to take the photo, and you decided it during the game? Yeah, it was a fun atmosphere. Yeah. I figured why not. I know, I know my, 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 my old coach, Coach Saban, he, 
I got to tune for that one, sir. <laughs> you, I mean, you, the, you, you, know, you had your first press conference. You, you come off as a, a leader, you know, kind of a stoic guy. Is there a side of you that you kind of are letting your teammates see maybe that, that the world doesn't see? Is that, I mean, we talked to Kenneth and Deshaun about your battles about wearing the blue jersey in practice and them telling you to take it off and, and things like that. But do you, I, I don't want to say do you feel a sense of freedom to be more like that here, but I guess do you? What do you see? <laughs> I mean, I, I, you, you seem like I, a very stoic guy. You think I'm different? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, I didn't cover you at Alabama, so I don't know. I, I, um, I covered some of your bowl games, but that's about it. I don't know. I, I'm a team guy. You know, um, I love our guys. I wanna. Um, I definitely, I, I, I try to put people first, so my peers first, and um, team oriented, and you know, is doing that, but. I'm me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jalen. Hey, Jalen, Thank thanks. You.